is my pleasure to present to you a brand new show featuring the return of Clay Calloway. Oh, Clay Calloway. Scarlett, you know, I love seeing Ash. She's, she's such an example for young girls in the first film of pursuing her dream. And then this time around with the idea of knowing your own value. Yeah, she's, I think she really discovered her own worth in the first thing. You know, she was in this relationship with this kind of jerky guy. And I think she was kind of in that relationship because she didn't really know her own self-worth. And she, you know, was probably, you know, kind of in this codependent relationship because she couldn't, she didn't feel comfortable standing on her own. And then when she ditches that deadbeat guy, <laughs> she, um, who, who Beck Bennett plays, by the way, which is so funny. Um, <laughs> she's able to, you know, just kind of, you know, find her own voice. And, um, you know, I, I, I think this film, she uses that experience to really empower somebody else to, heal and you know rediscover their own voice and find their own footing after this this tragic loss and um it's you know to me that's just a really inspiring trajectory i think she's mina you know we, we still see her shyness but she's coming more into her own and especially because this time around her performance kind of has romantic twists i was i was excited just to find out okay like what's what's the storyline this time you know i knew they were gonna have to make some some uh character development and stuff like that. So I, I was stoked to find out she falls in love for the first time. She has her very first crush, um, and it's it's really sweet. It's Pharrell plays uh, the crush, who is Alfonso, and he just he does an amazing job. And um, yeah, I think it's really sweet because she's still it's still the shy Mina that we know, but on stage she's a little more confident, um, but still very much I mean relatable. I think we we've all kind of had that. Uh, that like awkward moment, you know, and, and Mina has a lot of awkward moments, so yeah. it's fun. <laughs> you sing Bono's song, Stuck in This Moment and I Can't Get Out, and you did such an amazing job. It basically is my 13-year-old dream come true, so <laughs> I think I've sang that song um, in the shower 4,000 times. I'm sure I cried, made myself cry singing it, <laughs> um, staring in the mirror, um, and uh, it, it's very surreal to have recorded something, firstly in, in the middle of the, in the pandemic, in the quarantine time where we were all separated from one another. And then I just sort of, it still felt like I was like in my shower singing it. And then now, then to hear it like mixed together with Bono's vocal, it's very surreal. Like okay. nerve wrackingly <laughs> surreal. Um, yeah, but it's, it well. it's cool, thanks. Thank you, I yeah. appreciate that. Nice. Never in front of anybody live, but totally <laughs> could do it in the shower. And I sound great in the shower. You sound great anywhere. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for taking the time. It's thank great you. seeing thank you. you.